Cavalier, AthleanX.com, the fly. No, not one of my favorite exercises, as I've talked about here many times on this channel, but mostly because of the risk reward ratio. And as someone that trains professional athletes, realizing that the overhead thrower, a quarterback, a pitcher, anything that's going to potentially injure their shoulder is not that great of an exercise if I have better options. And I feel I have better options that can do this. However, that has led some to question me and say, Jeff, could I do a floor fly? And that would eliminate the things that you don't like about the exercise. And the answer is yes, and not just that. There's actually an additional benefit that the floor fly will provide that should allow you to start gaining even more from the exercise. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When we talk about the fly itself, what is it that I didn't really like about it? If we're on a bench, unsupported here, when I do the exercise, the advice is to keep your elbows bent, not to allow them to straighten out so much. It's going to increase the moment arm and therefore increase the feel of the weight that you have in your hand. Right? A 10-pound dumbbell held way out here is going to feel different. So what we want to do is keep the elbows bent and then lighten the weight is what they'll tell you. But the problem with that advice is that if you want to build muscle, you want to be able to overload that muscle and essentially you want to be able to overload it eccentrically, negatively on the way down because that is going to allow you to do some more of that micro damage to allow for more muscle growth. That's not really conducive to doing this exercise this way because unsupported, if at any point in time you were to fail on the way up without completing the rep and you had to dump the weights, which I see a lot of guys do in the gym, you're instantly compromising the anterior shoulder capsule here, the AC joint, and potentially the pec in terms of suffering a pec tear. So by doing it on the floor, what we're able to do is get in the same position, almost simulate the same amount of depth because we can arch the low back here this way, keep the butt in contact with the ground, shoulder blades pinched together, chest out, keep the elbows bent again, but now we have that pretty decent depth here, but we've got a bottom point. We've got a safety net underneath us here that allows us to not, if, even if we had to, dump it down without having to risk the injury to the front side of the shoulder or the pec itself. So we can do the fly in this manner and we've actually now fixed that. But what am I talking about? What's the additional benefit? Well, if you want to gain more muscle, you want to be able to overload. And those that are avoiding the heavier weights because it's not a good idea on um, flies, even as those that do flies would agree. And by the way, Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is his favorite exercise. I get it. But even he tore his pack with the exercise. So there are certainly risks to it. So what we do is with the heavy version or something basically a, a, a weight heavier than you would normally lift, because you don't want to incur an injury on a bench, you can lift that here now on a floor because I can do the eccentric overload knowing that I have the safety net below me here to catch me. And if I can't necessarily press it back up to the top, because I don't necessarily have all the strength to do that, I can just shorten that moment arm by bringing my hands in, press it up now, and now go back into another eccentric. So I could do continuous eccentrics here and get a really good overload on the chest with the safety still intact of the exercise. Again, a benefit that the floor provides that the regular bench does not. So it looks sort of this continuous motion this way. I'll go one more. And you're getting this eccentric horizontal adduction, which is one of the key components of the chest. And like I said, that dumping of the weight doesn't make my shoulder vulnerable like it would otherwise. So guys, I hope you can see the difference here and realize that it's not just doing exercises. It's about doing the exercises that allow you the best benefit while not compromising your longevity in the gym. And I don't care, maybe you're not an athlete. I know there's a lot of people that watch this channel that aren't athletes, but you still want to be able to stay healthy so that you can stay in the gym and train for the long term and continue to see gains month after month, year after year, and that's what this channel is all about. Meantime, if you're looking for a program that puts the science back in strength, takes into consideration not just the ways to help you to build more size and strength and power, but in a safe way so we can continue, you know, continue to do this for years on end, then head to athletex.com to get our Athletex training program. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want me to cover on this channel, and I'll do my best to do that in the days and weeks ahead. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.